All the world is a stage and every human being is an actor that makes his entrance and makes his exit. There are only two days left and uh, that is like yesterday. What else can we say? All we can do is is just uh, cry out for his mercy if we are, have fear in our hearts. I want to say thank you so much for all your ministry. I appreciate you so much. I pray for you thank that God you. gives you the strength to see all of us that listen to you every day. You've been a comfort to me, Mr. Camping. I'd just like to take a moment to say thank you for all that you've done for the Lord and for the ministry. And I've listened just about my whole life and everything. And it's just a good show. However, I do have one thing to ask you. What's going to happen, what is going to happen with all those billboards, all those caravans and tracks that you'll have to deal with on May 22nd that drive back to family radio? An integral part of the script of the plot was the law of God. And it declares that the wages of sin is death. If you break the law, as God is developing in this drama, and the one condition is if you break the law, then you're going to die. Welcome to the open forum. Immediately it became obvious that the world was populated by very sinful people. Yes, sir, Mr. Camping? Yes. Brother Camping, I mean. Um, Mr. Camping, I, I, uh, I'm having a lot of problems with myself. I think, um, I have to agree with you when I when you say that because I'm not a child of God. Um, I seem to be uh, on the dark side, and um, I feel like I'm going to be walking into the day of judgment with my, you know, uh, ready to be creamed. You know, God's going to kill me, and and uh, I'll deserve it. Unless you're really a child of God, unless God has opened your eyes, you don't want to think about judgment day. But I found after listening to you that um, I have this intense desire to do God's will. Um, I don't know if it's God or just the fear of, you know, the end of the world coming. And there's a final in-gathering that's coming in. But I still have problems with my personality. How do you know for sure, um, you know, if you're one that's going to be taken? The last shall be first. And the first shall be last. And the last are these who know nothing about the Bible, but they know that there is a God. They're hearing that judgment day is coming, and they're doing like the Ninevites, crying out to God for mercy. I've uh, tried to convince my family and friends about, you know, what we see is going on, and they've all basically called me crazy. Um, my biggest fear is, you know, what happens if what the detractors say is not true, does not occur, what what what's next for us and uh and our beliefs we must remember the centerpiece is always me no way the centerpiece is always god god i have no authority the bible is the authority and it is the bible that guarantees it not me not at all i'm only a teacher God gives us the rules by which we are to read the Bible. We can't just uh, pick up the Bible like any book and start reading it and say, I'm going to understand that. Now, what's the rule? Compare Scripture with Scripture. We have to compare Scripture with Scripture. We can read a verse like this, and it's as plain as a big nose on my face what it says. Okay, but wait a minute. I can't know whether I've understood that correctly until I look through the Bible, and it's a very arduous job. And when you've got all of that in front of you, that takes an enormous amount of time, then you have to synthesize it and see what is the, what is the teaching when we find harmony between all of these verses. So by the time you get all of this, that we have to know that the Bible, every word came from the mouth of God. Only if we have a very high esteem and regard for the authority of the Bible, we have to uh, compare and go through the Bible and make sure that we're in harmony all the way through. 
preachers, they don't have time to do all of this. And God himself has to open your eyes. And I feel sorry for them. Because the moment they get into that pulpit, the next thing, uh, a lady has a baby, and so they have to help in that family. And then someone else is sick, they got to visit the hospital. <laughs> you know, when we try to define love, it can be a love that's involved in the word infatuation, or, or and we love our pastor. He, he knows the word of God. Oh, we trust him. I'm sorry, it isn't true. It is not true. When someone says, thus saith the Lord, immediately he can be checked out. Is that in agreement with what the Bible is saying? The pastors have a terrible time in many situations trying to keep up with the needs of the congregation when their role ought to be just Bible study. It's an entirely different setup. And that's why, for example, I say again and again, I'm not the authority. The Bible is the authority. Continuing with the open forum, and shall we take our next call, please? Well, now we're seeing we're at the end of this tremendous drama. On May 21, everyone who has become saved on that day, sometime on that day, is going to receive his glorified spiritual body in which he's going to live and reign with Christ forevermore. Uh, Brother Camping, I, I want to know what is going to happen to um, pregnant women on that day. Judgment day, when God is finishing up his judgment. All those who have died will never have conscious existence again. God can take that baby out of the womb of that mother if the mother is not one of God's elect. God can do that, and it's not going to go into heaven as a little tiny baby. If they're still living when they enter Judgment Day, there's a great earthquake, a tremendous earthquake. And uh, then the next city that comes to May 21, 6 p.m., and there's a great earthquake and has never happened before. And then the next city comes to May 21, 6 p.m., and there's a great earthquake. They're going to die. Many will die the first day, and many more will die the second day. In order to find harmony, we have to arrive at that conclusion. While this judgment day is finishing, it's five months. All the true believers for 153 days, because 153 days is a number that has to do with salvation. Three times three times 17. Five months has an end is a number that can deal with salvation or with death. Yeah, Mr. Harold, I've uh, been a student of Scripture for quite a few years and read your material on May 21st. And I have to ask a sincere question. Are you on crack cocaine? And then all the props are taken away. The world is gone. It'll never be remembered nor come into mind. Am I on cocaine. Thank you for the question. <laughs> and if you think I am, well, you may think whatever you wish, but I'm sorry. I don't have never, never tasted cocaine or any other hallucinating drug such as that. But I can sure thank you uh, that, that you might think that, but it's just not true at all. Forget it. Thank you for calling and sharing, and shall we take our next call, please? Welcome to Open Forum. So, there we are. We're at the end of the drama. By God's mercy, he has brought us here. My, my. Before another week passes by, it'll be all over. <laughs>